every company, if you look around you in supply chain, spend-based decision-making is where everybody is making decisions based on 80% of my, uh, my uh, 20, these 20% of my parts constitutes 80% of spend. Therefore, these are the parts that I will manage very closely. Those are the suppliers that I will manage very closely. Those are the suppliers with whom I will negotiate and ha have direct relationships, etc. But the truth is, from a resiliency standpoint, it's a very, very different view of the supply chain. So let me give you an example. We all know this device and its sister devices. Um, so if you think about that little button on that, on that device, um, if that, I'm not saying it is, but let's say that it is single sourced. If Apple has single sourced this little button, it can't ship the iPhone, the iPad, iPod Touch. So the revenue impact of this little button for Apple is far, far bigger than the cost of this overall button on the Apple's bill of material, right? So the point is, there's a different set of analytics that is needed for resiliency. And it is not, by the way, spend-based. It is revenue impact based, which is taking apart your bill of material down to the part number level and saying, where, are, where is each part used? What is the revenue associated with that product? And, and calculating you know, for each part, what does it mean to my business if I, weren't, if I wasn't able to get this single sourced part? How much of my business or how much of my revenue would be impacted?